Hi, uh, this video is about lab view decorations. So, uh, before I go to uh, lab view VI, uh, let's say this is a problem statement that we want to work on. Uh, so, let's say you have three motors and you want to measure the temperature. Uh, once you measure those temperatures, you want to compare them with the set limit. Now, if the actual temperature of the motor is less than set limit, then we are okay. Uh, there is no issue with the motor. So, we display green LED and if actual temperature is more than set limit then we display the red LED uh, and the purpose this will help us to find out issue early on and prevent motor for uh, prevent motor winding burnout okay so let's start here um, so this is the uh, lab view 2010 I am going to open the blank VI here okay uh, let me make it a little bit bigger size here and uh, arrange this front panel here okay now uh, when you right click on this one uh, let me pin all these controls here and then uh, you will find the decoration uh, here in the modern you can go and then uh, uh, decoration here okay so the purpose of decoration is make your program look nice and uh, so let's say I want to uh, put this vertical smooth here so what this will do it it will show me the the motor actual temperature here and it will show me the set limit here okay so I, n I have three motor so I will uh, put this three block here okay and then this will be the third block here okay uh, okay and then you can select all three of them and then you can size and uh, so if I go here and I want to put the equal size between them so so this will be for my three motor and then another let's say I want to put the raise block here and then I want to uh, this one will display the LEDs if there is something wrong with the LED then I will find out here okay so and there are like uh, lots of uh, uh, decoration pieces here like thin line raise, raise box flat box and so on uh, you can pick the label here so let's say I pick this label here and I say okay this one will be my uh, motor one now if you want to uh, change the size and font of uh, those information you can highlight this one and then say let's say size I want to show 24 and the color let's say um, I want to pick uh, something like uh, dark black here so and then I want to make them bold as well so I can select again I can go here and uh, you can say okay style uh, bold here okay so this is my motor one control here I can just control C control V okay uh, okay let's let's see uh, edit copy and it paste and then it will create another block so this will be my motor 1 motor 2 here and then edit paste and this will be for my motor 3 here okay so uh, you can pick any of the decoration uh, thing uh, piece you you like from uh, from this decoration control here now let me go to the block diagram here and uh, first thing I will put the one while loop here okay so this will be my while loop I want to give one control here so I will put one uh, toggle switch to control this while loop so I go in the block diagram here I mean front panel and then I will put uh, one let's say toggle switch here and that toggle switch will be I say okay uh, control here or I uh, control on and off here okay, so that will be my control and then I can just connect that uh, toggle switch to my uh, while loop control here okay. now the next thing I want to do is I want to measure the temperature so usually the way you measure the temperature is you measure the voltage of the thermocouple which is connected to the motor 
and then you convert that voltage to the temperature um, in my case I am going to use one of the, the thermocouple here so let me open one of that thermocouple here okay uh, sub VI thermocouple so I just uh, when you create the sub VI uh, you just uh, you can check out my other video how to create a sub VI uh, but I have already created so I will just uh, drag and drop the thermocouple here okay uh, let me go in the okay so uh, you ne you cannot uh, uh, the reason it was not working is the f you have to, uh, I was doing file new here uh, you have to use the explorer and then uh, you open the uh, your sub vi folder okay and once you open that sub vi uh, you can just drag and drop here so this is the thermocouple for my one motor uh, which is going to measure the temp temperature it will give me the output between uh, 70 to 80 any of the random number okay uh, I need for three motors so this one is going here and then this is for the third motor okay so now I have three uh, thermocouple which is connected to the motor and then what I can do I can just uh, realign them here uh, let's see with the same distance and then I can uh, rearrange the size uh, they are align them so now so I I have the temperature of the motor now what I will do is uh, uh, I will create uh, one indicator here okay so this one will be my uh, actual temperature of motor one uh, same thing I will create one indicator here I will just okay uh, uh, let me just type in the actual uh, temperature of motor 2 and then I will create uh, another one indicator here now I have this three temperature and then I can go in the front panel here and then I can uh, okay I don't need this one anymore so I can put this temperature on the first block here okay uh, then second one will go here and third one will go here okay so they are showing the actual temperature of the motor now okay now um, I go back here and then I, what I will do I will collect uh, all these things and I will make array of this temperature here so I will say okay build array I will put here and then I can just make three here because I, I have three input and then I will give input to this one Okay, uh, second one, and this will be the third third input. Okay, so I have this array built up now. Now what I will do? I will create another array here. I will say okay, build array, and this will be my set temperature here. Okay, uh, let's say add, um, create constant and let's say my first temperature is uh, 75 here now second one is also 75 okay and uh, third will be also 75 I can just clean up my diagram by selecting all and I just use the brush here Kay. and now uh, I will just take this to array I will use the compare uh, function here okay so comparison and then I say okay is uh, greater I will put here then I will take all this uh, array input as a one input this second array as a second output 
and then here I will say okay create indicator and this will create the array now if I go back to my uh, oops I don't need it anymore so if I go back to my front panel here now I have this array I will just uh, put this array here and then I just create three LED just trying to select the block inside and then I just move here and this is the I can say alert Kay. so what we are doing here now we are measuring the actual temperature uh, and if it is more than uh, set limit then this LED will turn on okay so let me try to okay the default condition uh, of, of this LED should be on so let me just check the properties here uh, when is ok um, so when when we compare that means temperature is high so I will when is turn on it will be uh, red and during off condition it should be like this ok create ok ok uh, and the uh, and the same thing uh, for uh, all these three now let me just run the program here and let me uh, just one more thing I need to put some time element here so I will put the timing of a 1000 millisecond create uh, let me just stack here so you can see here I just say create constant it's ok 1000 ok so this while loop it will work at every one second ok that's the whole purpose of this timing now let's see I run this temp temperature here so now it is saying ok temperature is 76 now the all temperature goes high ok uh, this is uh, frequency is too often let me make uh, some more time delay element let me make this one is it uh, 3 thousand millisecond okay so now actual temperature is measuring 75 so when it's 71 it is okay but as soon as it go more than 75 it will turn red okay so that's pretty much about this video the whole purpose is not to uh, uh, go over the how this logic work of the motor temperature the whole purpose is to create this uh, block diagram and using the decoration okay uh, hopefully you like this video if you like it subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching okay bye